welcome back again. So I'm gonna get straight into it today. 2017 Mercedes Atros. Um, brake system, brake maintenance, axle three, axle one, two, three. Check the pads on the back, they are worn, so they need doing. Uh, we also have condensation fault on the dash, and there's another fault as well. The suspension uh, controller doesn't work as well, so we need to look at that. But first, we're gonna go through pads, doing pads first. 32 mil for the um, wheel nuts. So, let's whip these off. We're gonna put our things on because I don't wanna be deaf. So, let's get cracking and then let's get these wheels off. So, to get to the adjuster on top, I'm going to remove the sensor and then the adjuster's right down there, 224 mils. So, I'm going to get that out of the way and then we'll de adjust it and we'll show you about getting this. So, get the triangle out of the way. What we're going to do. Ooh, bass, it's an eight, hang on. Anyway. Back to an eight. Uh, just like a little red cover goes over. And we just wind it off. So what I do with these is, so I don't, so the uh, it's got like a little lug on the piston that slots into this backing plate on the caliper on this pad. So we're doing to put pressure on it till it's all the way back. God, it's warm today. Yeah, so, so put it on. Over it. 
pressing the caliper's nose, which is nice. I'm going to clean it down there quickly and then um, think about putting new pads in. So here we're literally doing that up, adjusting it, brake jam back on, 24mm nuts on that, clean the wheels up, make sure you always clean the wheels up when you put them back on and the hub which I did earlier. Uh, they were quite bad on this one but yeah, do make sure they are cleaned up all surfaces on the wheels when you put them back on and you don't get any problems with wheels coming off or anything like that. Um, 32 mil nuts for them do diagonals when you're putting them on the airline wasn't great on this one but yeah we've got it all secure and then it was talking up so next job is the controller which does not work nothing so we've got a new one by the looks of this it goes well, it's down there and then it goes in the carpet somewhere so let's pull back the carpet and have a, a closer inspection Looks like this might be an easy one. There is the plug. So, looks like it's cable tied there. So then technically, that plug should have just unclip. Looking at that one, let's have a look. That was a piece of pee. So, just literally all you gotta do is push that little bad boy in that. Right. That bloody carpet. So, just technically, it should. He says, just plug in. Also, drop down in the comments if you are going to 
truck fest at Peterborough. I will be there for the day on the Saturday. Be good to say hello to some people and and whatnot. Get to know some of you if you're going. I will be there. I will be having a bit, obviously. I think we're staying there for the day. Uh, we're gonna meet, hopefully meet some new people and other mechanics if they're there and all kinds of stuff. So that's the plan. If you are there, please drop in the comment below and let me know so I can arrange to meet somebody else. So let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. Should go up. So yeah, that worked a treat. I'm gonna put it back in. So the last fault, I will show you. Condensation in compressor air reservoir. So I need to have a look at that next. Uh, we'll plug it in and have a look at that. Might be a case we change the air drive cartridge or something, but let's plug it in first and uh, we'll have a look. So, whenever we do anything, we're taking wheels off, we have to torque it. So, this is a 6x2 Mercedes tractor unit. The wheel nut torque for this is 600 newton meters. Uh, the daft ones we do are seven. Uh, a lot of them will say it on the thing, I'll show you here. You look there. So yeah, 600 newton meters. I'm gonna go around whizzle these, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do some brake testing. So that's the first stage of torque done. Half an hour later, we'll do the other one, and then we'll put the indicators back on. But until then, let's plug it in and see what this condensation fault is. So here's our fault compressed air treatment and generation system air humidity critical level so if i click that i button it might not because it's not connected to the internet no it's not okay so let's click that let's go to maintenance first regenerated air volume count and reset sorry oh, let's put that code in so we had to put in an expert code with everything on these. The errors occur, uh, the current counters will be reset. Error codes related to this process can be deleted. This operation must be performed when um, the competent, competent component has been replaced air dry filter. So what I might actually do is first, I'm gonna put an air dry filter on it before I do any of this. So I'm gonna leave this for now. Go and put an air dry filter on it, reset it. And because the truck is in our system, if it comes back on again we know so i'm gonna go put an air dry filter on it we'll do that and then we'll reset it there's the new filter on i'm not gonna lie it's fucking stupid to tight anyway so we've done that so where we were here let me just... that's better so take that you watch it play out now process has been finished successfully completed so, and the light is not off. So, let's try and reset. Well, we've just changed that. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to reset it. And what we're going to do, we're just going to clear all the faults. Beautiful. Diagnostics. No error codes in that. What we're going to do is, I'm going to do a all system scan. If it lets me. No. Actros, Actros 4, all system scan. So let's let it scan first and then uh, we'll see what it comes up with. Righty ho, so we have, oh this bloody thing. Okay, so we have a few faults on here. Oh, bit too close there, isn't it Dan? Jesus. Right loud speed, a short circuit. Mm, that might have something to do with something else. Radar collision, that might be because of that. Uh, 
nothing untowards on there so nothing about the air compressor obviously we've cleaned all that out we've put a new filter on it we've reset it so Mercedes being Mercedes it's probably something else but uh, we'll see let's uh, get this cleared and let's have a look then right I've cleared it and it still won't go off now I don't know whether like we get these trucks in because I don't know like it's just a fucking pain in the ass to be so let's try again where is it right so all I've done is reset the counter the leaks in the system now to see if this makes a difference it probably won't but we can only but try I guess so let's see what this happens oh turn the ignition off 15 seconds 10 seconds sorry I'll come back to you in a minute so that worked lights gone off just done my half hour retalk so loaded brake test and then we're going home finally so that is the brake axle 3 done that took the light off that so that was that sorted we've done the air dryer filter and done a reset on that so that's all that sorted uh, what else did we do on it? We did the ECAS controller. Oh, torch is flashing for some reason. Hmm, weird thing. Uh, we did the ECAS controller, so that was all sorted. So, not a bad few hours work there. Um, that's another one back on the road. So, I hope you're enjoying all the content. Uh, like I said, I am at Truck Fest next weekend, which is the weekend of the 20th, 30th that weekend. So, it wouldn't Peter, but I will be there. If you do see me, come and say hello, come and have a beer with me, do whatever. So, yeah. I hope you're enjoying the content still. If you haven't already, if you think about subscribing, you'll see more content of this, more different brake faults and more servicing stuff and diagnostic stuff and we'll, anything that comes in, we'll be doing. So, I hope you're all enjoying it still. And I hope I can catch you all in the next one.